Welcome back. Don't worry about how we got here. Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. We're going to do a thing, and then we're going to talk about it today. Welcome to Scuba D. The floor is dangerous and electrified. Come back! Whew. Not just the floor, but the lab equipment, too. Some of it. This dumb bitch is going to cause a residence cascade. If we're lucky. Bree's got the chalk, the chalk, the chalk, chalk zone. Alright, oh, I, I can just cheese this. I can't just cheese, I can just cheese this. I cheese it. <laughs> You're silly, you stupid. You fucking I should have cheesed it. <laughs> okay, I thought the game was just straight frozen. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh shit! It's the fucking those guys! They're invincible. They can't be killed. Let's go, Scooby Doo, do something. Fuck you, Bat. I don't have to do any of that again, though. That's cool. That is pretty cool. What other video games has Tim Curry done? It's in a couple. I'm gonna knock him down first. Man, my fucking knee hurt. I know for a fact he's done Frankenstein through the eyes of the monster. Yeah. <laughs> I literally just scrolled up on that on IMDb, so yeah. In fact, he, he, he appears fully in that. He's King Acorn slash Keeper of the Time Stone Stones in Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, the 1994 TV series. Let's go, Scooby Do consequences for your actions. I don't know what to do. Have you tried sticking them with gum? No, these guys know how to kill them now. I'll knock them down first. I just don't know what to do in this room specifically. Aren't there, like, places you can go besides this main room? No. Maybe one day. Stop! Maybe some one day. Give me some fucking eye frames, please. Ow. You've never seen Clue, have you? Probably not. We should watch Clue. It's got three different endings, and if you pay attention, all three endings are completely plausible. I really wish movies would do that more. What, have multiple endings? From a marketing tactic, that's insane. Though. Like, think about talking about Clue with your friend and being like, yeah, no, the ending, and then watching their face, like, twist, like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? So what, do you never know what ending you're going to see? Well, if you're watching, uh, most, um, like, the DVD copy goes through all three endings. But when it was in theaters... They were just like, fuck it, whatever. 
What the fuck ever? It's 1980! No one's done this before! If they ever make the Metal Gear Solid movie, which they won't, because that's just insane, you can't, you can't. Do you have an end to that thought? No, you just you can't make the Metal Gear Solid movie. I lied. But I mean, if they did, that movie would have like a bunch of different fucking endings, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. The problem with making a Metal Gear Solid movie is, um, it's actually impossible. Oh, now it is. Okay, even, okay, let's say Kojima was still at Konami, right? Still never would have happened or could have happened. Why? Because think about how many things happen in Metal Gear Solid that are already movie-like and is so special and unique to Metal Gear because of its weird fucking, like, video game movie hybrid shit that Hideo Kojima has going on. Like, if you strip... If you strip... Psychomantis of being able to like read your memory card. He is just like a guy in a gas mask. What, uh, do I have to go to another theater to see Snake successfully beat Psychomantis? No, and the, the, the you just do an absolute assload of planning. You record that line last. That's the very last line and scene that you record. So that when people are watching the DVD forever later, they're like, Psycho Mantis says, mentions whatever else happened to be in the theaters at that time. It's not fucking hard. You just gotta think about it. Come here. Come here, you. Come over here. I want this. Yeah, but you can't you can't just pick something. Like that's not personal. Like the Psychomantis fight was so cool. Cause you're you're sitting there, and then he's just like, "Don't even try to fucking fuck with me, dude. I know you're playing Castlevania, and you're just like, oh my god, <laughs> I was playing Castlevania." <laughs> I do like Super Smash Brothers Melee. What the fuck? How does this guy know? Okay, so what about that? What did that do for me? What am I doing back in Little Lab of Horrors? Part D. Let's go, Scooby Doo, beat the game. That platform is never coming back. Never, ever. I think I didn't hit that button when I was in here the first time. So, it wasn't where it was supposed to be. But now I did hit that button, so... Ow! Let's go, Scooby-Doo. Ow. Scooby Doo just got fucking electrocuted. So now there should be a platform here. So I was supposed to hit the button the first time I was here, and I didn't. Yeah. I 
and I won't have enough. Oh, there's a warp gate. Thank God. It'd be kind of silly if they locked off the last area. You mean like they're about to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What now, Mayor McCheese? <laughs> well, that's the end of this episode. Possibly the Scooby Doo playthrough. See you next time, maybe. Bye. Let's go, Scooby Doo. Kill the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Genocide. Why'd you just break? <laughs> Who knows?